Look at me making three videos now in a recent time frame. This is gonna be more of a little vlog thing. I said in one of my last videos that we're gonna be picking up some Firebird parts. I guess it's a singular Firebird part, but this car right here, my 79 Firebird, getting some new bits on the front. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Nick. You're watching Olsen Auto. We're gonna get a cold start on the Mustang here. We're gonna be picking up parts for that. Uh, gonna start the morning off going to the gym and then uh, gotta drive like an hour and a half into Connecticut. But I should be able to go get a hood for the car finally so I don't have to leave. Ugh, cause I've been leaving this on the car and well, pulled off the air filter yesterday after we got a little bit of rain and I squeezed it. And there's a lot of water that came out. So obviously not optimal, but let's get a cold start on my 2020 Mustang GT performance pack. Let's get it. anyone says anything I know I need an exhaust for the car I'm not sure if I want to start off with an X or an H pipe or if I want to start off with an axle back the axle backs get very expensive it's like a thousand bucks for a good axle back so I could do that and then it would just be different mufflers or for like 250 bucks I could either throw an X or an H pipe in it let me know what you guys think the H pipe has that classic sound like my Fox body here but the X pipe gives it like that throaty high rpm uh, almost voodoo style sound. So let me know what style I should go with because I still have no idea, but still saving up for a bunch of other stuff. I shouldn't even be buying parts for this car, but I don't want to end up hydrolocking my motor because a $400 piece right now is going to prevent me from several thousand dollars at the machine shop down the road. So call it preventative maintenance, if you will. That's how I'm reasoning with myself. Let's get the day started. So that was like in a abominably good gym session. Did legs, so started off with regular old squats. I haven't squatted in at least a month. Did really good though, had an awesome time. Did some Nordic like band assisted squats. You put a band up top and then like you slowly lower yourself. Those killed me. Did some RDLs up to like 225. Good session, it's good to be back in the gym. Since I broke my wrist, I, I've only been back twice. First time is yesterday and this is my first leg day in about a month. Feeling good. Uh, I've always debated making gym vlogs, but I don't know if you guys would like that, if you would. There's some funny stuff that goes on in the gym, so if you guys do want to see something like that, let me know. But it's 12.09. I have to drive an hour and 20 minutes into Middletown, Connecticut, and be there for 1 o'clock. And I still got to go home and shower, and get the truck, and get the straps. Running a little bit behind. A little bit of a pull. start. Okay, I am running like super late. I'm doing almost 80 in my truck, but she seems to be doing pretty good for what it is. 200,000 mile F-150 doing 80. She likes it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I am very, very low on gas. I tried to stop at a rest stop to get gas. And like I'm, I'm running late, so I'm trying to be in a hurry here. No one would let me get gas. Like people were like cutting in front of me and whatnot. So I just, I just left. Really low, hoping I get off the highway in like eight miles, hoping I can hit a gas station right after I get off. Cause if I run out of gas, at least it's a good excuse for why I'm late. On the bright side, though, the exhaust is not bad at all. When I, you know, when it downshifts and whatnot, it gets a little noisy, but it's really not that bad. All right, I had to stop and actually get some gas here. Um, I was on E. Again, I don't know if I have a fuel light, uh, but that's that's where I was for fuel. So thank God I made it. All right, on my way back, you guys can see the cowl hood sitting in the bed. We're going to go install it. Don't worry, I'm not painting it today. I don't want to waste money on spray paint just to have it come out. Not great. But we got the cowl hood, paid 380 for it. I was going to do, uh, he wanted five. He said non-negotiable. He said, I'll do 400 if you come by this weekend. I said 375. I didn't have a five, so I just gave him 380. Looks to be in good condition. I think it should work really well. It's going to look amazing on the car. And of course, allow me to not have a hood with a big hole in it. How I'm going to avoid still getting rainwater in, because hopefully the cowl catches all of it. I guess we'll find out, right? We're going to have to do some tests. I didn't mess up the truck a little bit because I pulled over to make sure the strap pulling down the hood was good. 
and of course the truck was twisted a little bit and I think it's been in an accident because uh, this door and fender on the driver's side like to rub each other as I opened the door it like ripped the door apart so I'll show, I'll show you guys that when I stop I'm about a half hour away from home now but got the hood so far I'll notice not much room to get out so like I said I'm pretty sure this car's trucks been in an accident at some point in its miserable life because this was already bent a little bit and now the door keeps getting stuck on this i'm just going to trim the fender with an angle grinder because beater daily things mustang mustang fox body fox body and uh let's start this thing up and get it over because this hole in the hood finally going away yeah you see why it's you see why it's a problem Pretty sure the intake leaks a little bit because uh, she smokes on startup, but I gotta move one more car and then I'll be able to get that up. Right, I need power steering desperately, but that's not the uh, not the goal for today. This old piece of junk out of here, cowl hood on. You'll notice, of course, the air cleaner has water sitting on it, and also probably in it. Yeah, you can literally hear the water. You can see the water in there. Obviously not ideal. So this hood is gone. Uh, four bolts on each side. This thing's super heavy and that one's super light. We're gonna see what we can get done. I won't be able to drive it with that hood until I get either pins in here or I think I can actually just use this because there is a reinforced. You can see there it's got the same thing but it's, it is plastic. It's a nice thick plastic. But I might actually just be able to have it grab onto that. I'm not sure, we're gonna see. Uh, but I gotta get this big heavy hunk of trash off. Four bolts, let's do it. Old hood off and the cowl is on. You guys can see basically how the uh, hood works. So it's all fiberglass, but it's got like this reinforced shell, if you will, on the bottom. So it bolts there and there. It is set up for hood pins up there, but it also has the actual latch mechanism. I assume if they didn't want you using this, it either would be a huge hole to clear this or it would be completely solid and they expect you to unbolt that. So I should actually be able to use my normal latch. My one concern here is that this brace isn't gonna clear the back of the filter. Hopefully you'll be able to see this close in a minute or two. I just gotta trim down these bolts cause they're a bit too long and I don't need them puncturing through the back or the top, I guess. So let's see what this looks like in just a second. In three, two, boom. Cowl hood, I even put the nose cone on. It's obviously not right, and obviously the hood's not right either. Uh, all the fenders, the whole front end has to get realigned, but everything fits. It looks amazing, honestly, I love the cowl hood. And once everything is bolted up on the front, I'll be able to start working on headlights, of course, because I don't have any. For my dead battery, so rudely interrupted me. I still have to figure this out. I'm probably gonna run pins and the latch in the middle. Obviously, all these panels in the front have to get readjusted because None of them are right. I will still have to buy a hood release cable or run just the pins. Not really sure which I'm gonna do. Uh, the hood release cable, like, oh, the whole rig is like a hundred bucks. Probably gonna be the same to run a proper set of pins. So let me know in the comments if I should run just pins or pins plus the center latch. I'm thinking throwing in the center latch wouldn't really hurt. Still gotta get a new windshield, of course, if you guys remember. I did have a brand new windshield in here and then a log fell on my car and shattered a brand new windshield that I'd never gone down the road. But I digress, it, uh, it's still better than it was. And now of course you got a big cowl hood which looks absolutely astonishing. I love it, gotta paint it. But of course the whole car is gonna get painted with uh, Tropical Glitz. He hand makes all his paints down in Florida. So uh, just to show you guys what this thing looks like from the inside. <laughs> It, it blocks a fair bit of vision. This is, you know, exactly what I see when I'm driving. My seat's like adjusted and everything. I can't see a thing. This is awesome. Cal Hood acquired. I think I'm gonna end this video here. Next video, gonna be doing a lot of adjustments. I gotta pull the intake off this car because you guys saw it smokes on startup. So gotta fix that, but 
yeah after burning through a tank of gas in the truck spending almost four hundred dollars granted the hood is like almost a thousand brand new i'll take my deal and of course in a gnarly leg day can't forget that but i'm gonna end this video here i do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video we will have more firebird content coming being that it's winter it's kind of hard to say how often that's going to be i say it's winter i'm in shorts and a t-shirt it it's like the second day of fall you know what i mean it's gonna get cold soon it's gonna get snowy so working on this is gonna become a uh, much less frequent activity got a lot of body harness stuff to do i have kind of brake lights and interior lights i started using the factory body harness to start doing that stuff so car is also filthy but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one for my brothers one day we gonna make it we just gotta grind for that paycheck mama told me one day i'll be famous remember when she used to say she hate this that ended with life when i say shit now i'm inside all them people's playlists so one day i'll be stomping